This looks so funny. I'm so bad. Well, I suppose that comes with practice, like once you get to know all the blocks and everything. But you know what? For my first ship, I'm doing okay. Oh. Greetings, guys and girls, fellow gamers. My name is Games of Cakes, and welcome to Avorion. Avorion is a space sandbox spaceship building game. I've seen it a few times around on YouTube, and I, up to this point, really didn't have the time to sit down and see what it's all about. So we're gonna do that today. This is gonna be a Just for Kicks uh, video. And if you want to see more of this, you know, let me know in the comments below. But it looks a lot of, like a lot of fun. You can build your own spaceships. You can fight epic space battles, uh, battles, battles, explore, mine, trade, wage wars, and build your own empire to save your galaxy from being torn apart by an unknown enemy. It sounds like a lot of fun. It is very positively rated on Steam as well. I'll leave the link in the description below so you can check it out for yourself. So let's jump right in and see what it's all about. I hope you're gonna enjoy the episode. If you do, remember to kick that like button in the balls to support the channel. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. So let's get started! All right, we're gonna go, of course, to the single player game, uh, multiplayer game. I don't feel like getting ganked if that is one of those games where you start off with nothing and then all of a sudden, boom, you just get <laughs> conquered by the biggest ship in the galaxy as you spawn. I have no idea. So, uh, single player, play it safe, and let's see what it's all about. Uh, Saucy Galaxy, the seed, oh, that's the seed uh, for the procedural generated universe. I assume it's procedural generated. Difficulty, I'm gonna leave normal. Collision damage, I'm gonna turn down a bit because I'm assuming I'm gonna be running my ass into everything that I come across until I get used to the game. So let's start and see what it's all about. A smuggler's market will buy everything, including stolen or suspicious goods, but only for 15% of the usual price. Okay. Now, there is apparently a story, so the single player is not just going to be you free roaming. Uh, well, you are free roaming, but you know what I mean. It's, it's guiding you into a direction with a story, as far as I know. <laughs> Type S in chat window to post your current sector. Is a link in the chat. Mmm, nice. Press space bar to continue. All right, tutorial, yay! Do you want to play the tutorial? If not, you can still do this at any time later. No, I want to play the tutorial. <laughs> nah. Basic full. So you have a choice of what type of uh, tutorials you want to actually start from. So that seems to be going through camera controls, mining, building, drone, camera, cruise, hyper... Cruise? Oh, I like that. I hope we can play through the full tutorial. Um, I make this episode probably longer if we can, if, if we to cover all that. And we'll see how long it takes. But I want to make sure I get as much into this episode so it's possible. Look at that. Nice. Use the mouse to look around. Oh, whoa, whoa. There's something right behind me. What, well, dude? What the? Use the mouse wheel to zoom out. Wow. Okay. Holy balls. Look at that. <laughs> I have a growth on my ass. <laughs> if you don't want your ship to turn while you're looking, hold control. Hold left control. Okay, so let's... Oh, this is how we move. Nice. Oh, we are so tiny! It's amazing when you start, you're kind of going like, Oh, this is a nice big ship. And then look at this and you're nothing. You're nothing compared to this. So if we hold control, we can look around. That is so cool. I have these little things moving around. That's pretty awesome. You will have to use your mouse to use the UI or select things. Hold shift to release your mouse pointer. Oh, look at that. So now I have... Oh, yes, look at that. And my mouse is in the top right now in case you can't see it. Building mode. You can't edit your drone. Find a found a ship first. Oh, nice. So this is how we can access the UI. Look at that. I, I have no idea what all this is about. And this is coordinates, I suppose. Oh, man. Look at all this. Very confuzzling. Hold shift to release your mouse pointer and click continue. Ah, I like the way they did that. You have to actually do it to continue. You can always end or restart the tutorial with the tutorial button. Tutorial, okay. Now use WS. S to fly backwards, okay. Your thrusters automatically break when you stop pressing S. Oh, that's cool. Oh, all right, look at that. So we slow down if we just let go. Pressing backwards won't make a ship break harder. Oh, okay, so if we go forward now full speed and do nothing, that's the speed that we slow down as. If we go forward and now press back, it still slows down the same way. Very cool, very cool. For a hardcore break, you have to turn your ship around and accelerate or even boost in the opposite direction. This is especially important for larger ships with high mass. This is your velocity display. Okay, so up there, I like the way they display, they show it like with the ping around the UI. This is your velocity display. The first bar is your current velocity. The second bar is the programmed velocity that your ship will try to fly. Okay, so if we go for, okay, so we can see that our max velocity could be that. And if we run into something, 
We have to quickly turn around and then go the other direction. There we go. Ah, yeah, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. The second buy is the program philosophy. Yes, blue means you're flying in the direction your ship is looking. Orange means you're flying in the opposite direction. So if we go in reverse, we fly in the opposite direction that I'm looking. But what is if I'm turning the camera around? Oh, I already broke the game. Um, orange means you're flying in the opposite direction. Okay, use A and D to strafe. Is it strafe or strafe? I call it strafe now. Use A to strafe to the left. Okay, nice. An asteroid has been highlighted. Oh, wow, okay. Holy balls, look at the glowing on that. Use your middle mouse to select this asteroid by clicking on it. Oh, cool. Now it's, look at that. Now it's here on the bottom right. You can see the distance. It's iron. Oh, nice. It's, I love the music. Holy balls. This is such a great soundtrack. Like the whole ambient sound is wow. There's something about these type of uh, soundtracks in these type of games that make you feel literally like you are in a massive universe. Never mind that it looks bloody massive, but just it fits it fits okay fly to your selected asteroid pro tip pro tip hold space to boost okay oh balls oh balls oh did you see that like a ninja yeah oh oh the doing okay we just got damaged i think <laughs> okay let's take it easy here let's take it easy use your mining laser to mine the asteroid aim with the mouse and use the left mouse to fire so let's see how it looks like your target circle turns green when an object is in reach. Oh, look at that! Oh, we can't- oh, we can't do the mouse turning with the camera. Hang on. How do we do that again? Oh! Oh, here. There, control, left control. I already forgot the controls. Oh, look at that, but if you do that with the camera, it still moves the lasers. That is interesting. Use your mining lasers to mine the asteroid. Aim with the mouse and you see left. Yeah, we did it. Your target circle turns green when object is in reach. Okay, how much do you want me to mine before you move on, dude? Am I picking anything up? Yes, I am. Look at that. It says there on the top we have 439. Oh, that is so cool. Uh, there's something always very therapeutic about mining. I'm, I'm gonna finish this off anyway. I probably have to. It's like in World of Warcraft. Like, I remember it was one of the few games where I really, really enjoyed the grind. Like, where I would, like go online, find all the maps for the grinding, for the circuits, and then uh, get some add-on, put in the circuit into the add-on, and then follow the circuit, and just literally spend two hours going around in circles following the circuit mining. That is just amazing. And then you spend another two hours crafting. Anyway, resources are collected automatically by flying near them. That's cool! Your collected resources are displayed in the top left of the corner. Yes, very nice. We have 803 iron now. Continue. All players start out with a mining drone so they can gather resources. Even in the unfortunate event of your complete and total annihilation, you will always have the drone you start to start over. Okay, so that's pretty cool. I like that. Mine more asteroids until you have a thousand iron. Asteroids that have rich resources have bright spots. Okay, so are we near any bright spotty ones? No. Okay, so let's see actually how much resources we get from the non-spotty ones. Oh, Genie Mac, the boost. Oh! After you boost, it takes a while to slow down. Oh, there we go. Okay, now. How many resources do we get from this? We have 803 iron. Is that even iron? Oh no, this is just an asteroid. Genie Mac, you don't even have resources, you twat. Okay, this is a... Re there's no... Okay. This one, no resources, okay? No wonder there was nothing on it. You see, it says asteroids that are rich of... Re okay, I get you now. I thought it meant rich of resources as in all the other ones just have some resources. Okay, so we're gonna have to learn how far we still travel after we slow down, okay? So let's do that. Oh, I look at this. I love the way in the map on the bottom left, you actually can see the destruction of the item you're pointing at as well. That is so cool. Let's get the last bit. Do we have a thousand yet? No? Okay, so let's go over here. Oh, what is that little icon there? What is that? Resource depot? Sweet! Okay, let's find another glowy bit. And, oh yeah, look at that. It sounds so far away, 2.5 kilometers, but it's like, yeah, no problem. One kilometers in the... Okay, we let go now. Let's see how far we gotta get in. Oh yeah, okay. 
So I'm slowly getting the feel for it. I'm not gonna edit anything out because I kind of want this to be like the first experience video where you guys see basically how I experience or experience it at the same time as me rather than me cutting out. Um, I would do that during Let's Plays or something, but this is kind of a nice. No, I'm gonna have to finish this off. Dude, you can't start mining something and then not finish it off. This guy seems to be much denser or, oh yes. Oh, look at this on the bottom right. You can see the number 6487. So that shows you actually how many resources are in it. So how come I don't get 6000 from it? Will I get 6000? Well, is there 5000 left? So will I get now 5000 from it? Is that a thing? So if I finish the whole asteroids, will I have 4500 or not? It doesn't look like it. I don't think I get actually that amount that is shown on it. Wow. Some of that takes, like, forever. Oh, that's because it's a big chunk. Yeah, 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 yeah. That is amazing. Okay, so for the sake of not boring you to tears, I'm gonna move on. Even though this is actually very addictive. Oh, I know. You know what? I'm gonna... Sorry. I'm gonna have to finish it. People who play these type of games, who play, like games which have a grind but enjoy the type of grind it's this is a nice grind it's kind of very therapeutic you only have to hold down the mouse button you have the nice music in the background that i'm completely talking over of course oh man how many resources that no no don't kicks focus no you had enough okay we have 1000 we got 1240 from that apparently so 2131 in total click this button to found a new ship oh okay so let's fly a little bit out just so we have some room here. Wow, what is that green over there? That is so... F oh, man. This looks amazing. Oh, man, the music is just so... Wow. Okay, let's click that. Enter the name of your new ship. <gasps> oh, yeah. Ballsy. That's gonna be my new ship. Ballsy. So that cost 500. Oh, look at that. We have it attached to our bottom. <laughs> that is us! Oh, we have a cube attached to our bottom. That is so awesome. So that costs us 500 iron. Oh, can we actually rotate? No, I don't think we can. Okay, I don't know what's happening, but the cube is moving. Anyway, okay, let's let's stop. Let's stop. Click this button to enter the build mode. Okay. Oh, look, we have arrows appearing in space. <gasps> Magical arrows. I bet you they're Borg. No, no, they're not cubical enough. I Actually, that's it. I've, I finished my vessel. I'm a Borg vessel. That's it. I'm done. Thank you. Okay, welcome to the building mode. In here, you can build, modify, and arm your ships. Okay, let's continue. Wow. Holy balls. This is very confusing. I'm a simple-minded creature. Whoo! Oh man, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do that. Hold right mouse and move the mouse to look around. Okay, yeah, I can do that. Oh, look at that, we have an arrow as well. We are surrounded by arrows. Okay, so this shows me the stats. These are your tools for shipbuilding. Mirroring, coloring, snapping blocks, the grid merging and deleting. Okay, they all make sense. It's just very overwhelming in the moment. Oh, coloring, I understand coloring. With this button, you can open the entire building inventory. Wow. Holy balls. Iron Edge Armor. High durability, high mass. I'm assuming you can't just pick them all, that you have to actually have the material, so it's not like a creative mode thing, is it? What is that? <gasps> oh, I don't know what I did. Oh. Wow. Oh, that's different layouts. That is so cool. Template materials. Oh, nice. So this is all for iron then, and then we can have different materials. Okay, anyway, stop getting sidetracked. With this button, you can open the entire building menu. Yes, I did. This is the default ship block. Average price, average durability, no special ability. It's an iron hull. Okay, vanilla block with windows. Oh, cool. Okay, let's close this again. This is the engine block. Engines give your ship acceleration and max velocity. So if we put one of those on our ship, I suppose if we select it. Oh, look at that to the right over there. If you, I can't move my mouse to the right chair, but if you look at to the right, you see the green values. So we, if we put this one there, we get plus two HP. Our mass, of course, is going down. Well, it's going up, sorry. So our mass is going up. What I meant by down is it's negative, like it's red. So, and then our thrust is going up. 
And our velocity is going up. Very nice. So yellow means that we are going to do all right, I suppose. And red means that we are screwed. We definitely need to fix that somehow. Okay. So this is the engine block. When placing an engine, turn your camera to see where it's facing. Okay. Let me see. All right. So you can Okay. So if I put it here, that would make no sense at all. Well, apparently I can still do that. I would just probably burn everything inside alive. Okay. This is the crew quarter block. Your ship needs crews and your crew needs a living space. The more crew quarters you have, the more crewmen can work on your ship. Oh, cool. So if we put that there, we have plus 4 HP and 0 0.4 cargo hold. But that said crew... Oh, sorry. I clicked on the wrong one. I clicked on the cargo bay. So we get plus one crew member. Okay, sweet. This is the thruster block. Thrusters increase rotation speed depending on the position. This also... Oh, they also break your ship and reduce drifting. So if we put that there, we can see that our yaw and our pitch... Um, that's confusing for me already. Yaw and pitch, left, right, up, down. Okay, so left, right is yaw. Okay, and pitch is up, down. Uh, no roll. So if we put it on the side, does it change anything? Oh yeah, look at that! So if we put it in the back, in the middle, we don't get a roll. But if we put it here, right in the middle on the side, we get a roll and a yaw but no pitch. But if we put it in the front, we get all three. That is awesome! Okay, let's continue. You can change the size of your current block. Hold ASDW to move the mouse to scale. So if I press A... Oh, if I hold down A... Oh, look at that! Oh, you can see then the values and up and down doesn't work. Okay, so if I hold down uh, D... Oh, D's... Oh, what is D? Let me see. What, is D, what does D do? Oh, okay, so D's from the side. That is that, that will take some getting used to. And then we have S. What does S do? Okay, S is up. A is left and right. Okay, I can get used to that. Oh, whoops. And then... W, oh, whoa, W is just, like, ginormous. It still only does a 1.99, you would think if it's that big, that, you know. Anyway, your ship plan was out of saved. <laughs> I don't have a ship yet. You can delete blocks and turrets by selecting them with middle mouse and then pressing delete, okay? Very good. Use the engine, thruster, and hull blocks and extend your ship. Build thrusters to make sure it can break and turn in each direction. Build an engine so it can fly forward. Okay, so let's do an engine. Let's do something very basic, okay? So let's um, W, make the engine a little bit bigger. There we go. Very nice. So we're just gonna put it here. If I move it up or down, does it make a difference? No? Oh, do you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna do something nice and small. And a little bit longer. Yeah! Excellent. And then we're gonna do the same. I, I don't want to work out how mirroring works yet. So we're gonna do the same on this side. And then we're gonna do another one down here. <laughs> if you see, it has to be flush with the bottom. I want it flush with the bottom! Oh, I can't make it flush. Oh, that's that, that, that's annoying. Ah, uh, we just put it here. Look at that. This should give us loads of power now. Oh yeah, baby. Loads of power. Use engine and thrusters. Okay, so. Now, let me see. Iron stone, iron cargo bay, engines. Where's the thrusters? Iron thrusters. Okay, so let's make them a little bit smaller. Oh no, wrong button. So, thrusters. You can put right here underneath. And then we put another few here. Okay. And put some on the back as well. One in the back. Is that good? Am I doing good? Everything is white. I seem to be doing good. Your ship is ready. Once you're done building, exit the building mode. This looks so funny. I'm so bad. Well, I suppose that comes with practice. Like once you get to know all the blocks and everything. But you know what? For my first ship, I'm doing okay. Oh, but it says it requires a mechanic. But I don't know how to hire a crew. Crap. Okay. Best B to or escape to exit. B. 
Oh, look at that. Oh, I think my little dude up on the top is a bit messed up because... Uh, oh, oh, he's still there. He's not attached. It only looked like... Oh, look at that. We have our own ship now. That is so cool. You can change back to your drone at any time. For example, where's my drone now? I don't know where my drone is. Droney, droney. Is that it? Oh, I did something. I don't know what I did. Oh, there's my drone. Oh, whoa, 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 I'm fast. Holy balls. Okay, why can I not select anything? I don't have a targeting system, I think. Okay, you can change back to your drone at any time. For example, when your ship is damaged and has to gather resources for repairs, to change back into your drone, press T while no target is selected. Well, I, d I can't really select a target at the moment. Um, T. Oh, we're back at our drone. Nice. Look at that. Now, our drone is right beside our ship. That is so cool. Look, we can look at our ship. Whole firepower, distance, ballsy, belongs to Kicks. This is so cool. Now return to your ship, fly near your ship and select it and press T or F to enter it. So if we, oh, I've selected it and I can press F to enter it. Okay, cool. Since every ship has a different shape, you might have to reposition your camera. Hold left alt to move the mouse up or down and to adjust the camera. Okay, left. Oh, look at that. Oh, that is so cool. I was wondering why my thing was not centered. Now it is. Oh, man. This is the best ship ever. Nobody can build better. Okay, you can also reset the camera to its default position. Hold left, alt, and don't move the mouse to reset the camera. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Actually, that is perfect. Excellent stuff. So we can go, whoa, shit, I don't know what I did. And then we go, boop. Now adjust your camera until you're happy with your... F yeah, uh, uh, oh, no, no, no. There we go. Just want to show off that I still remember. Um, okay, let's continue. Your ship needs a crew. You can hire crewmen at nearby, at nearly every station. Okay, fly to the highlighted dock at the nearby station. If your ship is slow, it's because you don't have engineers yet and can't fly at full speed. That's why we're hiring a crew now. So if I remember, it shows us up here our philosophy, philosophy, our velocity that we can reach. Oh, look at that. Your ship has no crew, not enough mechanics. Why are you complaining? I only started and you're already telling me I'm crap. Oh, baby, look at that. This is, oh, man. This, oh, shit, 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 shit. Holy balls. This is something I'm gonna have to get used to. Okay. Fly to the highlighted dock. That's where we're hiring a crew. Okay. Oh, crap. I keep pressing that instead of shift. <laughs> okay. Press F to interact. Greetings. You're talking to the automated interaction system of the resource depot. Nilsenfo. You're either drunk or I don't know. Please state the nature of your inquiry. Electrical bulletin? Hire a crew. The nearby station. If your ship is slow, it's because yeah, I did that. Can I not? How can I continue? Why is it not let me continue? Do I have to get closer? Okay, let's close this and let's get a little bit closer. Maybe it triggers then. No. Okay, it wants me to go to the dock, I suppose. So now we're here. Oh, press F to dock. Yes, so that's where it wanted me to dock. F to dock. Okay, we just got that. Now, I assume we go hire a crew. Hire one vanilla crewman that can be assigned to any position. A vanilla crewman? These default crewmen can be assigned to nearly any position. So why do you not want me to hire a mechanic if I need a mechanic? Oh, can I rebuild? Okay, so this is very specialized. I suppose they're better. Okay, so we click. A oh, shit. No, not 29. Just one. Do, do, can you scroll with your mouse? Oh, wow. Okay, this is gonna be... Ah, oh, but actually, it's, it's, it does really well. Higher, $80. Where's my money? Does it show me where my money is? I'm sure it does somewhere. Holy balls. Looking good. Close the window to continue. I know. Oh, isn't that awesome? Open the ship menu and assign your crew. Oh, cool. Look at that ship menu. Is there a shortcut for it? I can't see it because there's some blinky dink in the way. Okay, ship ballsy. Oh, look at that. That is awesome. Systems. <gasps> Cargo. Energy. This is so complex and so in-depth. Holy balls. A squad. <gasps> Whoa. 
Okay, in this menu you can oversee your crew and assign your crewmen to jobs. Some parts of your ship only work if they are crewmen, who maintain them. When you extend your ship, you will need more different crewmen. Some more advanced crewmen cannot be assigned. You will have to hire them at a station. Okay. Assign one more mechanic. Assign. Oh, yes. Now? Looks like we're good to go. Close the window. So it kind of does... You don't have to confirm or anything. Your ship is ready to explore the galaxy once you are ready to click continue. And we will start flying to other sectors. Other sectors? Are you mad? This already looks big enough. Holy balls. Okay, once you're ready to click the... Okay, I'm ready. Open the galaxy map. Are you kidding me? Okay. This is the... Oh! Holy... Screw me sideways. That is gigantic. Oh my lord. Shit. Every square in this grid is a sector you can visit. Okay. Sector with a green blinking dot are sectors from where you are receiving signals and that might be worth checking out. Okay. The blue radius around your location is the range of your hyperspace drive. You can jump to other sectors but only within that range. The colors of the sectors show the relations between you and the faction controlling them. Oh my god, there's factions in this game. Green are good relations, blue is neutral and red are bad relations. Once you visited a sector with something interesting, it will be marked automatically on your map. Now right click a sector that is in range and click enter coordinates into navigation computer. This will start the calculations for the jump route. Once these calculations are done, you can jump to the sector. What is all this up there? Or is that resources or something? I have no idea. Okay, wow. Oh, look at this. This is how, ev how big everything is. And I'm like, okay, I'm gonna select something here to jump to. It's like, no, 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 no. It's just here in your tiny little bubble. That's where you jump to. So we have, do we have a green dot somewhere in our bubble? Yes, here. Unknown energy signature. Right click. Enter coordinates into navigation menu. Press escape to close the map. Okay, what now? Wait until enough computer finished its calculation. Oh, on the, there you can see it there on the right. Jump route calculated, okay. Turn your ship so it looks in the direction of the, okay. Press space. Oh, do I not have to select it? Okay, press space to jump into this into the other sector. Whoa! The gate system offers a safe and fast way of traveling for a price. Each passage will cost... Look at these stations, that is insane! Who builds all that? Will cost you money and the price depends on the distance. Press space bar to continue. Well done, you successfully jumped to another sector. Oh, I, I'm still in the tutorial, so we're gonna continue playing. This is awesome. This is your hyperspace drive energy. After a jump, it's depleted and you have to wait until it's recharged before you can jump again. Did we lose our other ship though yet? Oh, what is that? Hello? It's a gate, an SSE gate to vault... Oh my god. After a jump, it is depleted, blah, blah, blah. Okay, recharge before you can continue to jump. Some blocks of your ship generate energy, while energy weapons, shield, engines, boosting and the like use up energies to work. If this bar, okay, this bar down here, is rather empty, your ship produces more energy than it can consume, which is not a bad thing. Oh, that's good, and our bar is very empty there. If it's rather full, your ship consumes nearly all of the energy it can produce, or even more, which is more likely a bad thing. Okay, this is your ship's stored energy. Excess energy gets stored in your battery and drained during energy shortages. Once you have no more energy left in your battery, your ship system starts to fail. Oh, that's not good. So where's our battery? Now let's return to your previous sector. Use the galaxy map to enter its coordinates into the nav computer and jump back into it. This sector has been marked on your map. Okay, do we press M for map? Yes. Oh, look! <gasps> oh, no way! Look at that resource depot, repair dock, shipyard, computer. I am absolutely digging this game. This is amazing. So let's just select this or right click, sorry. Oh, hang on a second. When I write, look at this. Oh, so when I click this, this must be the total number of things. I don't know what they represent though. Okay, now let's return to your previous sector. Use the galaxy map to enter its coordinates. Okay, we do the same as we did before. Okay. What other options are there actually? Add note? Oh my god, this is so awesome. Post and chat? Post and chat. There we go. Kicks. Dun dun dun. 
<laughs> okay, so let's uh, enter coordinates in the navigation menu. Close the map. The nav computer is calculating the jump route. Where do we have to go? Over here. Very good. And jump. Jump. This looks so fantastically awesome. This is awesome-tastic. When building, you can use Control z and Control y to redo or undo your last action. That is pretty cool as well. Congratulations, you've finished the tutorial. For more advanced tutorials, see the drag the drop-down menu in the tutorial window. Xin had no the adventurer. Hello there. Are you off an adventure too? Off on a... Wow, okay. You can always restart the tutorial with this button. Okay. So if I click this... Okay, nothing's happening right now. Oh yeah, because I'm in the middle of something. Hello there. So somebody contacted me and said, if I, This is amazing. I'm going to leave this here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this uh, Just For Kicks first impression video or whatever you want to call it. Just to have a quick look at what this is all about. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, remember to kick that like button in the balls. And I hope to see you guys in another video. And if you want to see no more of this, let me know in the comments, okay? And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button for more content. As always, viel Spaß and happy gaming. Okay, what's happened around here? 200 years ago, there was a cataclysmic catastrophe which nearly ripped our entire galaxy apart. Everybody just calls it the event. What happened? People don't know for sure, but legend has it that an unsurmountable ring of torn hyperspace fabric appeared around the center of the galaxy. And now our hyperspace engines can't pass it to get to the center, meaning it's cut off from the rest of the galaxy. Since the event, nobody has managed to get near the center of the galaxy. The worst part is that the event also spawned hyperspace rifts throughout the galaxy, which makes navigation difficult. And then there's the Xotan. Go on. Nobody knows who they are, and they don't answer any intercom calls. When you get too close to them, they start attacking. They have been around since the event, and some people say they were created by it. But there's also a bright side. Together with the event, a new metallic element called Vorion has appeared. I've heard rumors that there's lots and lots of it in the center. Apparently it's the perfect element for building spaceships. It's robust and light, and its energy properties are crazy. But so far nobody has ever found much of it. But I'm going to change that. I'm going to fly to the center of the galaxy. I'm going to overcome the barrier, and then I'll mine all the Vorion I can find so I'll get rich. Oh yeah. A man after my own heart.